This project will be the building and painting of a 1 24th scale 1970 Ford Mustang kit. The Revell kit is from 1970, so the decals will not be used. Options in the kit include a street version, stock car version, and a muscle car version. Since we are showing how to build and paint the kit with beginning modelers in mind, we will do the street version. Step-by-step -step instructions for doing this version of the model is intended to be viewed primarily by beginning through intermediate level modelers. There are five sprues in total, three sprues of parts that need to be painted, one sprue of chrome parts, and one sprue of clear parts intended for the windows, head, and taillights. In addition, we have the main Mustang body to paint. Revell's instructions show the assemble of the engine for the various options as the first step in the build. Therefore, we will start our build by cutting off the engine parts from the sprues. It is our choice for which Ford engine color to use for this version of the build. TCP 638 Ford Engine Blue was chosen to be used on this version of the build because we thought it made the engine more eye-catching than some of the other engine color choices. All of our automotive engine colors are intended to be hand-brushed on the parts rather than airbrushed. We are cutting the engine parts off the sprues by using any sharp sprue cutter. Our favorite just happens to be the Zuron sprue cutter. Each part needed for the engine is shown on the Revell instruction sheet. Please just make sure that you choose the street version of the engine for this build. If you wish to change the 1970 Ford Mustang to any other version offered in the kit, Ensure that you obtain the correct engine parts for that version you have chosen to build. After cutting the parts initially required by our version of the build, both halves of the engine, the valve covers, the oil filter, the exhaust manifold, and the transmission, sand the residual plastic that may be left on the parts using any convenient sanding medium. I prefer a 180 grit sanding stick to smooth the edges of the parts. Test fit the parts to ensure that they go together with few gaps. After removing the chassis from the sprue, clean up the plastic left on the chassis with a sanding stick. Again, I use a 180 grit sanding stick. The chassis will be painted matte black. You can put the chassis aside for painting later. 
The small piece that was removed from the chassis is the brace and the engine compartment. Now we are cutting seats off the sprues and cleaning them up with the same technique using a 180 grit sanding stick. Many more parts need to be removed from various sprues, sanded and painted. We have already cut off more parts from the sprues and now we are just cleaning up these parts with a hobby knife, a 100 grit sanding stick, and a 600 grit sanding sponge. All of these parts will fit into different areas within the 1970 Ford Mustang after painting. In the next chapter, we will start painting many components we have prepared. In particular, pay close attention to the hand painting and assembly of the Ford engine. If you have any questions about techniques explored in this video or general questions about this build, please post your questions in the comments section below.